Hello everyone, this is Tajir, and we're playing this week for the Nostalgia Olympics Grindstormer. I have a very special guest with me today, Mr. The Hutch. Uh, I, I think you mean Styles Rockman. My name is Styles Rockman. Uh, I think what nobody else calls you that. So, we are gonna play a uh, Grindstormer. It's, uh, it's a shmup. I think everybody knows that I'm no good at shmups. Well, I mean, you're no good at any game, really. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, I don't know, I think it was probably a bad decision uh, for me to be playing this week. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of things that either of us are probably good at, really. Well, I don't know. I mean, you did pretty good with, uh, you did pretty good in these, uh, uh, the other things. I mean, I, I guess I did kind of good, but, you know, some things just happen sometimes. Yes, uh, anyway, so Grindstormer, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun shmup. Uh, it's by Tengen. Uh, or Tengen, I'm not really sure which one. We'll just go with Tengen. That sounds more right. Does sound more right. That, that is true. Uh, so, uh, the Nostalgia Olympics. So there, uh, this week, we had a special, the special points. Uh, the points for this week were, uh, the first point was just to make it further than Xenototo, uh, which was, I think, only further than the first stage. I never actually saw him play. Yeah, I don't think any of us saw him play. Or maybe we did. I didn't. I was... It probably in one of the other challenges. Uh, the second point, uh, the hardcore point for this week was to get 50,000 points in 16 minutes. Um, and that is entirely possible. A uh, little bit behind the scenes, I did actually manage to get uh, 50,000 points, but uh, the footage just didn't turn out. Yeah, that's very unfortunate, but things happen with recording and stuff. Yeah, and stuff and things. Uh, so, you know, uh, I think the... And then the super secret mystery point. Uh, I figured that uh, Xenototo wanted us to use... Uh, wanted us to use search, but I accidentally didn't get it back there. So I'm, I'm going to try and get it here. Uh, uh, at, you know, the regular shot actually makes this section just a little bit easier. Uh, so whatever. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, making things easier is definitely a good call for you. Uh, and, uh, I don't, I hope that I won't be disqualified for this week because, uh, way back at the beginning of the video you noticed that I actually, uh, gave myself extra lives. Uh, which I ended up needing all of them. Well, I mean, making things easier for yourself, really, that's, that's the only way to play a schmuck. Yeah, well, like I, I recorded, th this is probably attempt number, like, 2 billion or something. I don't know. That's, that's quite a lot of attempts. Uh, I don't think I could play this game that many times. I think I've overstated how many attempts I actually did play. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, so this section, this section uh, is actually way easier with the search gun. Um, and in fact, uh, almost all of stage two is a lot easier. So you're definitely going to want to have that. Uh, I like this thing because it kind of looks like a koala. But I I don't see it. Looks a bit more like a butthole. <laughs> I maybe I don't know. It, it kind of the face kind of looks like a koala face to me. But I mean, kind of. But just look at that thing on top. That that is a butthole. It's, it's a dirty butthole. <laughs> All right, these these things are probably the most difficult. Uh, most difficulty that I've had for whatever reason. Whenever I have the search, I can never get past them. They're uh, just... Yeah, they look like not very easy to deal with. 
No, they're pretty they're pretty hard. Uh, so that was the first introduction to what is going to be a huge mechanic in stage three is uh, the rotating bonus point things. Uh, there's quite a lot of explosions there. Um, yeah, I think I used a bomb. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm not very good at this game. But, uh, I think that was made abundantly clear at the beginning of this. I think, it, if not, it has certainly been clarified now. I died again. But, uh, I mean, there were three dudes just shooting at you constantly and jumping. Yes, this part, actually, if you don't have a fully charged up search, uh, which if you die, you won't, uh, this part is really difficult. Um, the, sh the regular shot, however, can dispatch of the, the weird purple W things uh, pretty fast. That's, a, that's, that's an apt description for those guys, weird purple W things. Yep. Uh, this section, this, this section also, it would be a lot easier with the search gun. But I don't have the search gun uh, until just now. I got it. But, uh, oh, that was one oh. time. Except that I didn't get it for. Uh, I think that was a bad one. That search, I didn't want that search really. I mean, not all searches are made the same. You can't just take any search and assume it's going to be the same as all the other searches. I, I suppose, I suppose that's true. So here we come up to the stage two boss. He's got some, uh, he's got some purple stuff all over him. Sometimes they shoot. Uh, an incredibly purple boss. Yes. Uh, this stage boss is real. The first introduction into uh, what the game is going to become is very Don Maku style boss. Um, this boss, I think, is actually a lot easier with the shot, um, but I died, so I don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, maybe you do know what you're talking about, but sometimes skill is more important than knowledge. I think, uh, yeah, well, it's they, like they said, knowledge is only half of the battle. And the other half is actually being able to do things. And the, the other half is... I skipped search again. I think I'm just done with that bonus point. The secret mystery point. I don't know if it was supposed to use it for the whole thing or not. I don't like mystery points. They're, they're too mysterious for my liking, honestly. Yes. Uh, so, here... I think at this point I was almost ready to completely throw out this footage. I decided, well, I'll just use up all my bombs, see if I can at least make it to stage three. Uh, it seems like a decent plan. I mean, stage two clear. Oh yeah, nice work. All right, and here we come. This is uh, what they call the the bonus hell, uh, the bonus point hell stage. But, uh, from what I've seen of the stage, that sounds pretty accurate. Uh, there are a lot of traps, uh, to try and, uh, trap you. That, that is what traps do? I think that's what traps do best. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, it's a little bit of a spoiler. I ended up not getting, uh, the hardcore point. I got very close, but this game just proved to be too uh, much of a challenge. That's, that's unfortunate, but, you know, things happen. Indeed. That is, that is a lot of points just flying out of that robot. Yep, and if you manage to do enough damage to them, they will actually spit out 10,000 point uh, pickups. Uh, right. Like, I just missed the mark on that one. That's somewhat unfortunate. That's a bit ridiculous. That's yes. a lot of points. Uh, you definitely do not want to get these slowed down. There it is. Yeah, oh, 10,000. I, I flew into the bonus point thing uh, because I wasn't paying attention. That's, a, that's the main cause of most robot related injuries. Yes. Super sweet dodging skills there. 
Uh, these things are normally way easier for me, but then I remembered I don't have any power-ups. That's, uh, that does seem like a bit of a problem. Yes, this section, this section is quite difficult with just all of your base stats, uh, but that's what happens when you're terrible at the game. But, uh, that is what happens when you're terrible at the game. You just, uh, don't have any good things. Oh, man. I don't know, I guess, uh, I wonder if this, I wonder if it was planned for... Uh, us to be as awkward as we are being right now. <laughs> I I think it might have been because uh, we are the two most awkward people in this competition. Yeah, Team Chaotic Symphony, I think we were called. Yeah, I don't remember. That was about right. Well, we got back our search gun, and I've used up all of my bombs. At this point, I'm throwing all caution to the wind. I'm just trying to get that hardcore point. And that is a lot. Yeah, that was bullets. that was a lot of bullets. That almost the entire screen is bullets. Uh, this in this game, everything, all bullets are homing unless they are not. Uh, so you want to be careful not to get yourself corner trapped. Yeah, that uh seems to be the case. Uh, so this is the sort of the last little gauntlet before the boss, the final boss. Uh, I've got another power up. I think that I, at this point I'm thinking, well, damn, I was only 16, 15,040 points away. Uh, that was quite possibly the worst I have felt in a long time. But uh, because this is a let's play, I get to show what happens when you die. Yeah, that's that's always the right thing to do. To show everything off. Uh, what special does? It gives you full, a uh, fully upgraded power. That's that's really nice of the game. Yeah, it is awfully nice. Uh, and as you can see, I'm making good use of it. There we go. By the way, if if it was cumulative, I would have just got the hardcore point right there. But yeah. I don't think it is. I I don't think so either. But you know, if you got it in spirit. Oh. I think you're turning into a robot. Oh no! Robots! Oh well. That, uh, that shouldn't show up in recording. Oh, I think I'm by myself now. Oh no! Uh, well, that's... that's... Oh. I think that's just the way that I've always done things. That's... that's greatly unfortunate. Get that power upgrade, even though we don't need it. Keep this, shooting. This is very weird. I'll, that, I'll just be commenting on the things I hear. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, a little behind the scenes for the little breaking the fourth wall, I think. Here we are at the stage three boss. He throws a lot of rocks. Oh no, everything is doomed. I don't know. Uh, things might be better now. Are, are things better so now? So it's like easiest that? just to sort of open up your shot and then so. shoot him. Uh, I use bombs are. because I'm no good at. I'm just no good at defeating this boss. It's uh, okay. Open up the rocks. Oh, there goes the call. And then here's where he starts shooting out lots of crazy stuff. I die there. Oh no, that's what a not track. good. Dying is not fun in shmups. Well, it seems like... Uh, it seems like we lost the hutch. Uh, so hopefully we don't get disqualified this week. because uh, that would not be very fun. That would not be fun at all. Disqualification uh, is not good. Well, I figure, you know what? Fresno seemed to have a lot of luck using the search, so I'm going to use the search, because I want to be just like Freezing Inferno. Being like Freezing Inferno, it should be everyone's goal. Oh, oh the best no. Person. Everything's going terribly, terribly wrong. That is certainly... wow. Uh, people say that Toho is a bullet hell. 
but Grindstormer, I guess, was the original. Oh. Well, I guess it sounds like it's just me. Oh no, it sounds like we got the hutch back. Hey, yeah, uh, sorry, it was just, uh, just my internet connection was kind of shitting out on me. Uh, I don't know, where are you at right now? Oh, just coming up to the last, my last attempt on the stage 3 boss. Uh, it's proving to be quite a challenge. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't even get, I couldn't even get past stage 1 with this game. Uh, yeah, it took, definitely took me a lot of practice, and here comes all of those lasers. They give me a lot of trouble. Uh, that ended up being my last attempt at the game. Uh, yeah. Uh, wow. I think that was quite possibly, uh, quite possibly the worst commentary it could have ever been. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Hello everyone, this is Tajir, and we're playing this week for the Let's Play Nostalgia Olympics. Uh, we're playing fucking, hang on, start again. This is, this is terrible. This is all going wrong. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop this recording. <laughs> 